What is up guys? Welcome to my channel. My name is Matthew Connolly. I make music video tutorials here on YouTube. I also upload some behind the scenes of my music video shoots and just give you guys insight on how I do my creative process with music videos. In today's tutorial, we're gonna be going over and how to make this trippy morph transition in Adobe Premiere Pro. If you don't feel like watching the entire tutorial, I will be providing a preset down in the description for you guys to purchase it. Let's hop into today's tutorial. Okay, so now we have Adobe Premiere Pro opened up. The first thing is we need two clips to do this transition, right? So go ahead and get those two clips into your timeline. Once you have those clips in your timeline, we're gonna go at the point when the clips meet each other, right? So put your playhead right there and press shift left arrow key to jump forward five frames. Then we're gonna create a cut and we'll go back five frames, so shift, right arrow key. And we're gonna go forward five frames, so shift, right arrow key. And we're gonna make another cut, right? So now we have two cuts. We're gonna take both these cuts and we're gonna highlight them, right click, and nest them together into a, a sequence. And let's just label this transition. Okay, now we can start applying effects. The first effect we're gonna do is turbulence, displace, and we just need to adjust a few values. First, we're just gonna uh, keyframe the amount and we're gonna put it to zero at the beginning of the transition. Next, we're gonna go over to size, make that 45, go over to complexity and make that 10. Okay, now we're gonna keyframe the amount and go to the middle and right where the cut is we are going to change the amount to 50. So now you see the effect. And let's go to the end and have it fade out. So bring the amount to zero. Okay so let's just render that just so we can see that real quick. As you can see, there's the, kind of like a little distortion going on right there. That's just the uh, backbone of the effect, but we still have a few more to add on top of it. So the next one is wave warp. So it's wave warp and it's under distort. Okay, so once you have wave warp on your transition, we're gonna keyframe the wave height, the wave width, and phase. Okay, so then we're gonna go to the middle and we're gonna set another keyframe for the height, the width, and we'll make one for the phase and drag it all the way out to the end. Okay, so we have to set the wave height and the wave width down to zero so we don't see the effect at all. And then it's gonna transition into a higher value so we see it and then it's gonna fade out. Right, so we're gonna go to the middle and make the wave height about 49. And we're gonna make the width 239 and fade it out. So bring the last values down to zero. Next, we're gonna go over to the wave type and we're gonna make it smooth noise. We have to make the pinning all edges. So we get rid of like the little black squigglies on the bottom of the framing. And let's make this best quality. Next, we are gonna add lens distortion. This is gonna give it like a nice cool like fisheye type of distortion look and it'll help just like with the transition overall. We're gonna keyframe the curvature at zero. We're gonna go to the middle and make that negative 92 at the center. And as you can see, it kind of gives it like a nice round warpiness to it. And then go to the end and make it zero. The next effect is VR glow. Add that to the transition. We are gonna keyframe the luma threshold, the radius, the brightness, and the saturation. We're gonna go to the center and we're gonna keyframe all those as well. And we're gonna go to the end and keyframe those. Let's go to the end. Let's make the threshold amount one. Let's make the radius zero. Let's make the brightness zero. Let's make the saturation zero. Let's go to the middle. Let's make the saturation five. Let's make the brightness 1.25 let's make the 
radius like 90 or so and let's make the luma threshold 0 0.05 and let's go to the end and let's see boom it kind of like adds like a nice little glow flashiness to the transition but it's still not trippy enough for me we're going to add like a little bit of chromatic aberration so let's go back over to vr for the effects panel and press vr chromatic aberrations and apply that to your transition. Go to the beginning and keyframe the red, the green, the blue, and the fall off distance. We need to make the red zero. We need to make the blue zero, and you can leave the fall off distance. Next, we're gonna to go to the center, and we're gonna create a keyframe for the red, the green, and the blue, and not the fall off distance. And we're gonna do the red, negative 47, for the green, we're gonna do 50. And for the blue, we are gonna do negative 50. As you can see now, it's starting to get like really like trippy and like colorful and distorted. Pretty sick. Let's go to the end and let's create another keyframe for the red, the green, the blue, and the fall off distance. Now let's make the fall off distance zero. And let's make the red zero, the green zero, the blue zero. And when we play it back, we have the final effect. pretty cool and you know you can change any of the values or anything none of these are set in stone this is just the way that I did it based on your clips you can make it you know a longer transition or a shorter transition you can add other effects on top of it you can make it your own this is just like the basics on how to do this type of effect hopefully you guys learned something from this tutorial if you did please leave a comment and a like definitely helps out the channel I'm gonna be planning on posting more content like this, so definitely be on the lookout for that, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.